Yo, Hoopalinks Hoopa here, and we all know Jaden Animations, right? She is the best animator on YouTube, at least in my opinion she is. But it's not very easily argued that she's not one of the best. So, yeah. Her story time videos are amazing. I love them. But my favorites are probably her video game story times, whether it be Cooking Mama or Pokemon or Monster Island. I think that's the name of that game. I don't remember right off. But either way, I think they're all fantastic. And today we're going to be reacting to the video that actually got me 100% hooked on her channel. I was on and off a fan of her channel. I would watch the videos that popped up on my recommended, but I was never really subscribed to her until this video came out. And yeah, now I tried to get a hold of her. I tried to email her. I tried to do what I could to get her permission to react to this video. Unfortunately, I have not heard back anything from her. So Jaden, if you want me to remove the video if you see it and you want me to remove the video then i will do it no questions asked but anyway let's get into the video and let's see what she has to say about pokemon xd gale of darkness okay so a little bit here before we get started on the actual video i see a lot of plushes here i see a pikachu i see a shellos as well as a blaziken a slowbro Porygon 2, which looks derpy, which is very, very fitting for Porygon 2. We also have Gengar, Giratina, S I wanted to say Sligu, that's not right, Gumi, and Gudra. So, yeah. Now, that's a lot of plushes. Now, I got Pokemon plushes, too. I have, like, Snorlax, Pikachu, Squishmallows, along with Togepi. I got a Piplup Squishmallow, don't know where it's at. I've got some hand crocheted Pokemon plushes, and I got an Eevee plush. I had a lot more plushes, I just don't know what happened to them. Which, it's, it, this is a lot of plushes. And I know for a fact she has more. <laughs> and anybody who has watched her video on the Gen 5 Pokemon sitting cuties know that she has so many more. <laughs> I've played a lot of Pokemon in my days, and by that, I mean I've played the same Pokemon game with various different skins. But okay, I'm here so that's not a bad thing. I know a lot of people will say that's a bad thing. That's not the case, not at all, because if you play 2K games like NBA 2K or WWE 2K like I do, you have literally the same game over and over and over. And if it's just a wrestling video game, for example, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain all the way to 2K, it's literally just the same game with different skins. So, I mean, any franchise game is going to keep the formula just with different, like, skins. Today to showcase one of, if not the most unique ideas for a Pokemon game Nintendo has published and for my our favorite, tiny little hearts. Actually. And that game is called Pokemon XD Gale, Gale of Darkness. Darkness. I love XD. this game. A bit unfortunate but it came out in 2005 so they get a pass why am i talking about it i think it's an underground game not enough people know about it what to battle take it out something outside. different kind of shakes up the, the formula Pokemon. it's constantly overshadowed by its predecessor it. pokemon coliseum okay so i don't think that's the case much anymore i think because of Jaden and other poketubers talking about xd itself i believe that xd is now the more popular one Simply because it's a lot more polished than Coliseum was. There's a lot similar with the two, but overall it's just more polished. And I'm pretty sure Michael is a much better character than Wes was. Wes was cool. Don't get me wrong, Wes was amazing. But I think just the idea of Michael states a bit better family-wise than Wes. So, yeah, there's that. Also, there's a rare soda right and, there. And, yeah, okay, I played it as a kid. I'm very biased. Is that what you wanted? If you've not heard of it or played it, you're... Jiggly tough. <laughs> ...in for a treat today. The game opens up to a cargo boat, the SS Libra. Can we talk about the lighting here? Can, can we talk about the lighting here? It's better than even modern 3D Pokemon games. 
There's a lot that XD does that is significantly better than modern 3D Pokemon games, and we will see it throughout this video. I guarantee it. Where we find the captain and guy who steers standing at the helm. All is calm <laughs> and serene when suddenly they get swatted. And it's not no ordinary the, the SWAT today, folks. Beautiful. No, sir. This is a Lugia SWAT. They run SWAT. out to see what's Could going on. Could you imagine? Do you imagine police just pull up and they just have this great big bird? <laughs> this just great big dragon bird thing? And they're like, you either give us the stolen vehicle or we're going to take it via giant dragon bird on and the captain looks up and makes this face as if he wants to kiss Lugia. Oh god! Why does it have, why does he have teeth? Like right here, he has two teeth right here and a whole row of bottom teeth. That's so weird. I just now noticed that. That's so weird. Passionately on the lips, but <laughs> Lugia's not here for kisses. He's here for kiss the opposite Lugia, of kisses. Especially that Lugia! Which is crime. He hyper beams the cargo ship and then steals it. You heard me right. Just blasts the thing point <laughs> blank and takes it away. I don't think that's hyper Lugia's ship now. The presumably only is. two people on the entire boat Side fall into maybe? the water and are left to just drown in the ocean, in I guess. Generation two and three. <laughs> well, that was a bit raw. What are we, a minute in and two people are dead? Gen 10 could never. Hard cut to me because that's more important. You play as this boy kid named Michael, but actually his name is Jaden now because I, I that's me. The game throws you into the middle of this intense artwork, looking fight between drawings, the Salamence and Metagross, amazing. both her level 50. I don't know where I am, just, what the oh, stakes man. are, who I am, but this battle seems <laughs> really important and tough, so I'm gonna give it my all and immediately Can we also talk about how cool the three models from this Pokemon game look in particular? I open my eyes, everything's blurry. Wake up, so good. Turns out I live in a friendly laboratory run by this Professor Crane and his lab guys. I get up and the guy running the battle simulation tells me how good of a battler I've become. Oh, thanks, man. Amy. Then he immediately negs me by telling me it's about time I go out and get myself more Pokemon besides hey, my one lame Eevee. Backhanded compliment at a child, but I'll Amy's take it, cute. I think. Amy's I go into Crane's office where him and She's my mom are talking, and he says he heard from the battle coach that my battling yeah, skills be. have improved dramatically and how proud he is of me. To which my own mom tells him to stop giving me compliments and praise because I'm going to end up spoiled rotten. I don't know what kind of a response that is to a She's child a receiving belt. praise. Either Either I'm already a cocky little bastard, or I'm being currently emotionally neglected by everyone in this building. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't think it's healthy for my mental development. To make this mother look <laughs> even worse, we realize her only other child, Jovi, is missing, oh, and character. no one is oh, looking for Joby her. Is the world awful. is only filled with overpowered wild rabbit animals and crazy I people. No, I'm sure it's looks. fine you haven't started okay. looking for her. So, here's a question. Here's a question for anybody who is my age or older why is it every depiction of a cartoon sandwich except for in scooby-doo that it's really showing your age there hoopa ah uh, <laughs> why is it always just two slices of bread with a great big slice of lettuce in between it's always lettuce between two pieces of bread you go look at Courage the Cowardly Dog, Johnny Bravo. It's it's crazy. It's weird. Or keep doing what you're doing. I get a lead saying she really likes hanging out with what? family friend mad scientist Dr. Kamiko. So I head over to his house and I'm about to knock on his creepy door when this tiny little blind man, Chobin, the doctor's assistant, walks up Spiral and is like, glasses. Burglar! And challenges me to a battle to <laughs> which I cute. win because he only has a level five sun kern. <laughs> Jovi comes out and is like, Oh, hi, big brother. I it's Jovi. I hate you Jovi get lost, so big much. brother? Silly big brother. Jovi will She's guide you back so home. so annoying. All right, I see why no one was looking for her now. We return home to the lab and they present me with a snag machine, a machine that allows the user to catch shadow Pokemon, which are Pokemon that have been so abused that they turn evil. Now, they're saying they haven't seen or heard of any shadow Pokemon that exist anymore because they've all been purified. Here. Okay. So, and I'm sorry if I keep pausing this, but this game is weird because it's a lot like Pokemon Black and White too, because in Black and White 2 and in this game, 
a lot of what happens in the story is built off the foundation of the game before it, right? In Pokemon Black and White 2, it's built off the foundation, obviously, of Black and White, where your character does what it does in Black and White, as well as the stories being told in Black and White 2 of it, especially if you played the game beforehand and unlock the different... Anyway, this game works very, very similar, except for the fact that the previous main character is never mentioned, I don't think, in XD Gale of Darkness. So, basically what I'm trying to say is it's so heavily... You can tell it's a sequel, because it's so heavily structured around the fact that you played Pokemon at Colosseum, not XD Yellow Darkness, that's the video we're watching, Colosseum before you played this. Now, in a lot of cases, you probably have, right? Because Colosseum came out first, and if you owned a GameCube back then and wanted to play a Pokemon game, you had XD Gale of Darkness and Colosseum as your quote-unquote traditional Pokemon games. So if you played Colosseum first, then this would make sense. But if you didn't, you wouldn't know why all the Pokemon were purified. Because in Colosseum, if you played as Wes, the main character, you went through the entire game, you collected all the shadow Pokemon, and you purified them that way. This is heavily based off of this, off of that. So, yes, basically my main suggestion is if you're going to play Gale of Darkness, play Colosseum first because it would the story of Gale of Darkness makes a little more sense if you play that one first. Years ago, but who knows when they could start popping up again. Better be safe <laughs> That's than for sorry. Folks. Bam! Some guys from a secret organization <laughs> called Cypher bust into the lab, beat everyone up, <laughs> steal Professor Crane, the show up their shadow Pokemon, and I run off to their secret base to never be seen so. again. I love that. Well, I'll be. The lab is in shambles, not knowing what to do, but then decides they're going to complete their like purification that? chamber in his honor because shadow Pokemon are back and they want to do something about it. They send me off to this seaside town Gadion port to retrieve a machine part they need, and Joby pesters our mom to come with because Joby doesn't think I can handle going out on my own, and Joby I needs to hold my to hand and guide her, her big brother the so whole way. Bad. Okay, not only does this little snot talk in the third person for no reason, maybe our mom didn't care enough to get us any education. Perhaps she was worried the teacher would give us a compliment, heaven forbid. <laughs> but she's also the most annoying character I've ever witnessed in any media, and I've watched an episode of My Hero Academia with a grape kid in it. We go to- That's an understatement. That's a severe understatement. Joby, in my opinion, is the most annoying character in video game history. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to punt kick that little twerp but because it's a family-friendly game, you couldn't punk kick them. Gaddion port and not two seconds pass until Joby pisses off this random guy Zook who happens to be the buffest man in the world He's about to punt her and I'm about to do nothing about it when this old man and his <laughs> color-coded henchmen step in and obliterate his shadow Zangoose Old man, I was about to be free of everything that is bad in my life and you took Jesus, that away from me. Like we that. get the part, head back, and mom tells me about this spot in Agate Village called the Relic Stone where you can naturally yeah. purify Pokemon. I don't know why you're making your own purifying chamber then when there's a rock that already- <laughs> Yeah, that's the whole thing too, because like, and I hate bringing it up. In Colosseum, that was the only way to purify your Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure in this game, the purification process that the Relic Stone offers is faster than what you would get in the machine that they built. So it's weird. It's really, really weird. He does that. I go to Agate, and this very enthusiastic man with a Pikachu People shows he me was the stone, him, and I'm way, like, he had a Pikachu. cool. To which he's like, by the way, my friend Vander might know where Cypher took Crane. And yes, oh, this game is okay. that straight I go forward. talk to Vander and he points to this random spot in the desert on my map and is like, oh, they're right here. I saw them. What were you doing out there? That's literally just sand. That's true. <laughs> well, would you look at that? A headquarters.
Huh. I start infiltrating the base, battling all the grunts that fall from the ceiling, snagging any shadow Pokemon I find, until I reach Pink Hatsune Miku, who's trying to get information out of Crane about purifying shadow Pokemon. I battle her and win, which means I get to unkidnap him, and while heading out, I find this data ROM on the ground. Huh. This seems very important and like it has a lot of secret information about Cypher on it. <laughs> Original say do not steal. Convenient. Brain returns to the lab and everyone's happy and then they send me to Pyrite Town to find Ned, Pyrite a guy Town that should be able to crack place. the ROM and access all the information on it. So Looks I head there cool, and he's like, yeah, we can crack this, smile. While he's hacking it, I go out and play around in a random cave and run into Mirror B. This guy doesn't do much in- Okay, so unpopular opinion time with Hoopa. I don't like Mirror B. I don't. I don't like Mirror B at all. I don't dislike him. I'm kind of on the meh scale with Mirror B. I just, there's nothing about him that I like. I don't like the disco aesthetic that he's going with. I never did like disco at all, but <laughs> I just don't like him at all. He's just weird. I don't like his music either. Simply because, like, it works with his team of Ludicolo because they're the dancing Pokemon, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. This game, honestly, but I just want to make sure you know he exists and listen to his music. I just, I don't like it. And I hate the fact that Ludicolo is that small in game. Ludicolo is the size of an adult man. I go check on Ned again, and Cypher's bust and beat everyone up and kidnapped another person. Have you guys min-maxed how to kidnap people or something? You're two for two at this point, and are scarily efficient at it. They tried a hostage situation the data run back, and even though I beat up this big man and take all his shadow Pokemon, Ned still wusses out and gives the ROM back. He thought he was being two steps ahead because he saved all the information on his server already, but Cypher just logs on and okay. deletes everything anyway. So I wanted to talk about this because Vision there's on been server a lot, already, but Cypher There's been a lot of people want remakes or at least enhanced versions of XD Gale of Darkness and Coliseum, and I think that would be fantastic. Their armor looks really cool back then. Could you imagine them getting updated to actually have metallic texture on these? Like updated models, all updated skins and stuff. That would be amazing. That would be by far the best, in my opinion, Pokemon side game that they could put on the Switch. It'd be crazy popular. They And they could probably sell it. I mean, they could probably sell it full price and people would still buy it. I would. It just logs on really and deletes would. everything anyway. Net says the only thing he remembers from the ROM was that Cypher was I behind the disappearance of the SS Libra, and they're about to attack this city nearby called Fennec, and someone needs Fennec to go city warn them. is amazing. I guess I'm just Mr. Scooter across the desert and save everyone today, aren't I? I head to Fennec to warn the mayor about the attack, and as soon as I arrive, this lady hits me with a confetti cannon, oh congratulates me on being the millionth visitor to the city, and shoos me away to celebrate at Real Gam Tower. I try to get around her because this Real is important, Gam. but she's and determined to gatekeep me no matter what I do. So I just go there and realize she literally sent a child to illegally ah, gamble his corner. life away. Wow! So much. No one in this region likes children, do they? After not being able to figure out how to play bingo, I head back, sneak into the mayor's house, either. distract his house sitter with music, and find out the mayor was trying to write a note to Justy, the city's gym leader, warning him about Which, the cyber surprisingly attack. surprisingly enough, is the only indication that gym leaders exist in this region. He's the only one. I don't know why the mayor was trying to ask this random gym guy to help, but he was kidnapped halfway through riding it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Cypher realizes I now know what's <laughs> up, and everyone in town reveals themselves to be disguised Cypher like grunts. This. Oh my god, they kidnapped the entire town. I don't care what kind of organization you're from, if you can successfully kidnap a village, You've earned my respect. I beat up Cypher, rescue hey. their shadow Pokemon, and free literally everyone. Just for future reference, though, um, Giovanni, you know, Giovanni, right? The leader of, you know, Team Rocket. 
he had his own secret headquarters in the game corner in Celadon City and nobody cared. So, kidnapping a whole village is is impressive, but um, having a whole city not care that you have a criminal organization right under them it's just a little more impressive to me. Just, just so you know. In the town who is locked in the city basement, <laughs> Justy says he saw up. something suspicious going on in the desert and points to another random sand spot on my map I should go investigate. Ow. Honestly, how are all these people just stumbling onto these shenanigans in the middle of the desert? And why are they able to give the latitude longitude of these locations after finding them? This has got to be like tens of miles out from any sort of civilization. This is where people <laughs> run out of gas in their car and then shrivel up and die oh, before gosh. anyone can find them. Why were you here? Wow. What? Yep. That's the cargo ship. How did you find this? All right. What is what so enthralling about this desert that crime and vigilante justice is constantly going on in every square Why inch of this place? In Cyphers desert? running around on the ship, and after I take their shadow Pokemon and chase them out, this group <laughs> of strangers calling themselves Team Snagum walks up and roofies me. I wake up, realize they stole calling my snag machine. This power. random old man who just started living in the wrecked <laughs> boat Ruby. said he saw oh, them head funny. off in that direction and points to the middle of nowhere on my map again. You people are beyond me. I show up and wow, another headquarters for crime. Oh, I make my way there. to their head honcho, Gonzap, who's trying to put on my snag machine, but he's too big really and muscular and exploded. adult. And since I am a child, it does not fit on his giant muscle arm. He pretty much gives up, asks if I want to join team. Can we, can we talk about the way these buff characters in this game are modeled? They're cartoon, like, I can understand. Like the more cartoony look, but this guy is shaped like a T. He's shaped like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> That's so funny. Team so Snag funny. Him. I say yes, but Gonzap's he fights me anyway. Weird, and after I beat him, he's like, actually, you can have your arm thing back. We're not <laughs> enemies. Awesome. So why am I here? You drugged me, stole my stuff, and then just so, something I just now noticed that I I want to talk about. It, I don't remember much about Gale of Darkness. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This game has not been played by me personally in probably about 15, 16 years. I don't think that he says arm thing. I know it's more than likely just a uh, speed by to actually get through the story quicker. But... I don't really think that he knew exactly what a snag machine was anyway, which wouldn't make any sense because Wes got his snag machine from Team Snagum. That's why it's called a snag machine. Called I'm Friendship and gave it back. I find Cypher's Shadow Pokemon Factory and walk up so to cool. the actual biggest men I've ever seen in the world. No, How naive I was like to think Bravo. Zook okay. was big. Foolish me. Anyway, they're about to beat me TF up when <laughs> Gonzap shows up, expresses his devotion to our newly blossoming friendship, and roofies them for me. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're really consistent at that. I go inside and climb to yeah. the roof where their power generator is. There's a tiny little piece of paper there that says, Use system lever to adjust voltage. Do not raise voltage too high. Crank! A guy comes out and starts yelling at me with his Pokemon when the tiny old man who accidentally ruined my life in Gadion Port comes on screen and is like, I'm evil and creating a Pokemon that's unpurifiable. Come get me. This is my IP address. I need to cross the ocean to get to him because he's basically on evil Hawaii. So I take this I Robo Kyogre this Robo from Kyogre, Kamiko, speedboat my way there, and you guessed it, fight everyone in the building slash volcano until I get to the big little man. <laughs> After fighting an entire country's worth of people, I find him, his name's Grievel, by the way, and he's like, I'm surprised you made it this far. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm busy, don't bother me. And blocks me with a giant pane of glass. Honestly, out of all the fictional villains I've seen, this is surprisingly decently reasonable. But I'm not gonna just sit here and stare at him behind the glass like a goldfish at PetSmart. So I just walk around and use the side door, which really sets him off. 
I mean, dude, either lock the door or don't have it. This is just what doors do. Grievel's like, you blew up our shadow Pokemon factory. You got past my glass. That's <laughs> it. I'm summoning Shadow Lugia, the first I Pokemon cannot, to ever be unpurifiable. I cannot express enough how much I love this design for Lugia because it's just so good, and it is a crime. It is a crime that this is the only 3D, official 3D model that we have of Shadow Lugia. It bothers me that it, it's the case. Because this Pokemon is what a shadow Pokemon should look like. A perfected shadow Pokemon. Mewtwo's shadow form from Pokken? Is it Pokken? I'm pretty sure it is. Doesn't hold a candle to this because it's just a black Mewtwo with an orange crystal. No. This is what a shadow Pokemon should look like if it's been perfected. It's still very clearly, very obviously Lugia, right? But the spike and the color change and the sharp, like, talons and the fact that it's back, feather, fin, spikes, whatever they are, are sharpened. It's just perfection at its finest when it comes to creatively changing a Pokemon. It's so well, cool. Come forth and obliterate this small boy. To which I just master ball it. Really overlooked <laughs> yeah. that one, didn't you, mate? He may not be purifiable, but he's mine now. <laughs> Huge L. Reval gets <laughs> so beyond pissed that he decides to open his creepy eyes oh, and yeah, fight me himself. Yeah. And I was surprised to realize not only does he have a team of all shadow Pokemon, but he somehow yeah. nabbed Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I'll be honest, it was a really, really hard fight because Shadow Pokemon are super effective Aside against all non-Shadow Pokemon. I don't know how it took me this long to tell you that, but that's how it works. So instead of trying to catch them all like I've been doing this whole time, I really just beat them up and they ran away. <laughs> so I win! Okay, Cypher's so... And this is the last time I pause, and I promise. So... <laughs> I love how I pause that. Anyway, basically, for those who haven't played this game and are worried that once you beat him, you can't go back and catch these shadow Pokemon, you can. It'll keep going until you catch all the shadow Pokemon, and then you can continue to fight him, but he won't have shadow Pokemon anymore. Those are the last six you need outside of the special Pokemon. So, yeah, there's that. He's officially lost everything, and it's all because of me, the little boy. Blue henchman <laughs> runs up kids. to Grievel and is like, Sir, I have a plan. Let's blow up the island with the kid on it. What? Which is like, oh my god. <laughs> and then Red Henchman is like, Okay, that's a bit too far, man. Yeah. Dad, let's go home. Yeah, they pulled the I'm your father slash son <laughs> twist on us, but it has very little effect on me because I do not <laughs> care the about these point. people. Anyway, they decide to not blow up the island with me on it and stop being evil. I think <laughs> I'm like 60% sure. And then happy ending, I just go home. So what do you think? So what do I think of XD Gale of Darkness? In my honest opinion, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is by far, without any argument that I will accept, the best 3D Pokemon game ever made, bar none. There is no better Pokemon game that was 3D or is 3D than XD Gale of Darkness and Colosseum. But hear me out here. Before you go crazy on me. This set of Pokemon games were the first two Pokemon games to ever be story driven. Now a lot of people will say, but Hoopa, 
black and white were the first story driven games. What are you talking about? These games were the very first, excuse me, the very first story driven games ever made because you had to do the story to beat the game. The games previous, which were on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, did not have you face a story until either the main end, like Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, or completely skip a story or didn't have a story like Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, so you know what I'm talking about. These games forced you to go through the story to beat the game. You had to catch all the Shadow Pokemon to, well, you didn't have to, but to beat the game, you had to go through the entirety of the Cypher Syndicate because you couldn't beat the game that way. There was no Elite Four champion. There was no gym leaders or anything like that. You had to beat the story. So therefore, it's the very first story-driven game ever made. And in certain cases, I would even go out as far to say that it has a slightly better premise for a story than Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. I think Black and White and its sequels have good stories, but with the introduction of Shadow Pokemon and things like that, something that we hadn't seen until Pokemon Go, again, it's just better overall, in my opinion. I love XD Gale of Darkness. It's by far my favorite Pokemon game set that I had ever played. I love Pokemon. I have loved Pokemon for a very long time. If the age of these two games were any indication, Colosseum is 21 years old and XD Gale of Darkness is 19 years old. So if that's any indication to how long I've been playing Pokemon, I loved these games and I still do. They're just too expensive to buy. But I love them so much. Also, funny enough, I want to do a Let's Play of Colosseum into XD. But I'm going to set a like goal. If this video can get five likes, that's reasonable. If this video can get five likes, I will do a Let's Play of Colosseum going directly into XD Gale of Darkness. So, if you guys like this video, how about you shadow punch that like button? And if you guys want to see more videos that I'm going to be doing on this channel for Pokemon games like Legend Z to A and other Pokemon related content, how about you guys break swipe that subscribe button and that notification bell? It only takes a second and it helps me out a lot. It shows me you guys like this content and want more. Hope to see you guys in the next video. My name is Dark Hoopa, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.